before we have kickoff of this game, we'll have a special mode of recognition. Nikki Cross announced earlier this week that tonight's match will be her final one as a professional as I, as I bring in Daniel Malagari. Nikki Cross has played different leagues, different levels. She's been a very fantastic player and a fantastically versatile player at every level and everything sure. she's played for. Yes, you know, she she was up in Boston in the WPS days, obviously over at Bayern Munich for a few years, um, back here to the Spirit and then down to Houston. So she's have has, has had an absolutely colored career. Um, and it's, I guess, our privilege to have her here in her last game. Dash in the road blue tops tonight with the white shorts and blue socks. Spirit in the home blues with the red on the shoulders, red shorts and red socks. Ashton Harris wears the black to our right and Aaron McLeod in the green to our left. Underway here at the Maryland Soccer Park is a key match to start the month of August. Jess McDonald's long throw from the left side coming in towards Christine Nairn. She wins it in the air. Second ball popped up by Church and cleaned up by Matheson. Only as far as Rachel Axon who pops it into the air. Header flicked on by the dash. Still loose in the box. Bit of a tangle here. Still loose finally and it falls to the feet of Houston. Back here for Lloyd. Her first time shot almost forces a save out of Harris as it Hits the top netting and goes just over. Counter for Ojai. Left for McDonald. Marked by Whitney Church. Stumbles a bit. Regains her footing for Ojai. Ojai hits it with a right foot and a great save from Harris to keep it out at the far post. And that stays in play right till it goes to the corner. And finally does go out for a corner kick. And it's almost become routine for Ashley Harris mm -hmm. to do this every week, but it still is impressive and incredible. And something since Ashley Harris has come back, she's been so big time in the opening moments of every single game so far. She's had to make these types of saves in the first 10 minutes to keep her team in the game. Ball inside. Loman is onside and a great diving save from Aaron McLeod to deny her former teammate. Nairn's left-footed strike. Tipped over by Aaron McLeod. Aaron McLeod has been called upon in these first 23 minutes, and she has done a fantastic job at keeping the dash in this game so far. Both goalkeepers have. What a great save by Aaron McLeod. She kept her feet moving. She came across. Read it well. That was ticketed great. for the top corner. Yes, great touch. And that would have been a great ball if it would have gotten through. Dunn, one on five. She doesn't care. Dunn in the box. Bump from Masters, shot from Dunn. One on five. It's not a you fair have, fight anyway. You have got to be kidding me. That was a fantastic run by Crystal Dunn. She collects it with four or five defenders around, beats every single one, splits the center backs, boom, back of the net past Aaron McLeod. What a great goal by by Crystal Dunn. Tenth of the year for Crystal Dunn, and now she's back in sole possession yes, of first place. Yes, let's look at it again. I mean, that's just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go as fast as I can, and there's nothing you can yeah. do about it. Chip over the top, looking for Dunn. Gets through for Dunn. Dunn comes around Henniger and finishes. A brace for Crystal Dunn, and the Spirit are cruising in the first wow. half. Wow, wow. I mean, I, re I really don't have much to say. That was just a world-class finish. It skipped right behind the last defender. Crystal Dunn was just there, tapped it past Henninger, Henninger with the outside of her right foot. What a fantastic finish by Crystal Dunn. Master again, the victim. And you wow. Think somebody, you think somebody told Crystal Dunn that uh, somebody had tied her in the league with scoring? <laughs> yeah, maybe. She, she could have certainly gotten the update prior to the game. The second goal certainly had some, some good skip. Dunn wants a third. Left-footed ball in the box, deflected just wide. The serve from Nairn bent in towards Dunn. She heads it, and that streak of no goals from ahead are over. <laughs> Crystal Dunn has a hat trick. Hey, we said it at the beginning of the game. Crystal Dunn hasn't had her 90 minutes to shine, and she absolutely has shined in the first 46 minutes here this evening. She rose above every single person inside the 18 yard box and slotted it far post with her head. What a brilliant 45 minutes from Crystal Dunn so far this evening. The Spears squad and across from us Danielle had a sign that said, Houston, we are your problem. More specifically, the problem has been Crystal Dunn. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mountain Soccer Bros. Michael Menick alongside Daniel Malagari and already a change at the half of the dash. Danielle's and Melissa Henderson is gonna come on an attacking move from mm -hmm. Camila. But now the Dashers have one change left. But again, the better of the American left back there, Megan Klingenberg. Mm -hmm. Nice serve in from McDonald. Oh, high in the box. Left footed shot saved by Harris. But what a cross from Jess yes, McDonald. Yes, that was a great cross. Oh, high took a first touch, and I think she was. That was actually. Oh, sorry, Henderson. sorry. Henderson, yeah. Henderson took the first yep. touch, and I don't think she was expecting to be as open as she was inside the 18. Kind of took a little bit too long with the second touch to, to put, it, put a shot against Ashlyn Harris. 
Henderson keeping it alive on the sideline. Right foot across in towards McDonald, chested down. It'll be Andressa against her fellow number two, Catherine Reynolds. The Brazilian serves in a good right-footed ball, headed by McDonald and inches wide of the post. And what great Brazilian flair in that moment to kind of throw Catherine Reynolds off to get a service, a service in. Now, I think for Jess McDonald, she might have left her feet a little early. She was a little bit early on, on striking that ball. If she would have been a little bit later, maybe she could have directed it back towards the near post. Yeah, nice little change of direction there. And Carly Wood was there too. Mm -hmm. And it, and everything behind the scenes that we don't see, the, the travel that, oh wait. Oh hi with a beautiful ball and yep. McDonald with an even better header. Yes. The dash have won back in the 74th minute. Jess McDonald has her seventh of the year and she extends her all time mm -hmm. lead in NWSL goals. Yeah, I, I apologize for talking through it, but, but what a great finish by Jess McDonald and, and another great ball in by Ojai. Um, you know, th this absolutely puts them back into the game. Only two goals down. There's still plenty of time left to see if they can maybe get another. I think in that moment, they just caught the spirit back line sleeping. But what a great finish by Jess McDonald. There's really not much Ashton Harris could have done about it. That ball was served in kind of no man's land. That's not really a place where she wants to come off of her line and make that sort of contact with a player. Melissa Henderson's corner will come here as the Dash try and get back in this one very late. 79th minute, they trail 3-1. Crystal Dunn's got three. Jess McDonald's got the one the other way for Houston. Played in towards Nikki Cross and McDonald. Now knocked down. Volley from Lloyd. Cleared off the line by Estelle Johnson. Still being popped up in the box and headed now by Lohman. Touch back now. And it'll be Klingenberg in the center of the park. Early serve in. Headed down by Oyster. Falls for Axon. Again, volley back in the mixer. Appeals for offside or not seen. Mm -hmm. And finally, it does come up on the far side as Jess McDonald gets a touch and yes. gets involved in the play. Right right before that service went in, she was just a, a sliver off sides. The serve from Henderson, a good one towards the penalty spot. Towards Carly Lloyd, headed and saved by Harris, headed by Reynolds now, still kept alive and cleared. Wow, that back line, goal line work yes. has been huge on these set pieces. Yes. And that will do it. So, some magic from Crystal Dunn. A first half hat trick from the league's winning score. Washington Spirit face a late surge from the Houston Dash, Danielle Malagari, but get out with a 3-1 win. Sure, and, and obviously with the limited amount of numbers and the Aaron McLeod injury in the first half, that's a tough hill to climb for Houston Dash, but they really didn't ever give up, and they had a ton of opportunities, and I would say the last 20 minutes or so of this game was theirs. They, ha they had plenty of opportunities to put a ball in the back of the net, but the Spirit, the Spirit held down for the 3-1 win.